Hey everybody, Winstreak here. Today's question comes from Otan the Knight, and they are looking for a way to make their character teleport without getting stuck inside of walls. That means if they're going to teleport into the wall, something stops them. So I have a little collision check that I built to fix this issue. And a quick disclaimer, if you have slanted floors, it doesn't work. So, if that's the case for you, this is not for you. But if you have just normal flat floors. They can be multiple levels, um, but as long as the edges are straight, then it will be fine. And we are just working with our sprite character who is sitting on just a normal platform behavior. And then I pin to them a sprite object that is slightly smaller uh, in height. So it's slightly raised off the ground and ends slightly before his head. That way you don't get caught on the ground if you're already standing on it and you can teleport from the bottom. So I'm going to set this to visible by just removing this so you can see what we're working with here. And essentially if this checker right here is overlapping with any of my solids, it's going to stop me at that solid that it's overlapping with. And we can hop into the code and see how this actually works. So I pin it to my player character and I pin it at a point and essentially you just add a point right here so it's going to be image point one and this is just the position in which uh, puts it really close to my face I can actually move it back a little it might be better I'll uh, get rid of that small gap in front of my character but that's has to be touching that pin that way when I turn left in mirror actually I'm not sure if it even needs to be Pinned to a point. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Pin to objects, player sprite. Done. Yeah, so pin into that point keeps it from changing its spot on us. So we'll just set that back with Control Z. And we're going to pin it to image point one, and that'll just keep it at the same distance away whether I'm facing left or right. And then on space is my teleport, so I'm going to move that to the bottom. We're going to look at the keyboard presses first. And essentially, if I press and or hold down left, it's going to set my player to be mirrored, which turns my player. And it's also going to set that collision checker to mirrored. And then pressing right or holding right will set them to not mirrored. So this will just turn them both with the simple click of a button. And then on space, where the magic happens, uh, first we check if we're not overlapping with our teleport blockers and that's just a family I made and I throw anything that I want my teleport to stop on into this family. If you don't do this or if you don't have families you will have to make a lot more checks in here but if you do run with families you can make a family and anything you want to block you put in there and then you just say as long as we're not overlapping that teleport blockers family and then if we're not mirrored which means we're going to the right. Sorry, if we are mirrored, which means we're going to the left, uh, we'll move to the left side of our collision box. And that would just be the far end of this. So if I'm over here, not mirrored, or I am mirrored, so I look to the left, uh, that's just going to move me to this far end of my checker here. And as you can see, I go right there, and then the right does the opposite, which is the next line of code. If we're not overlapping and we're not mirrored, so facing right, it'll move us to the right side of our box. And then these two are going to be if it is overlapping. So if we are overlapping any teleport blocker, and this will pick the unique blocker that is overlapping us. So then when we type in teleport blockers, bbox left minus four, it means we will hit the left side of whatever teleport blocker so it could be any one of these uh, we'll hit the left side of it and then I get rid of a few pixels just to move my guy out so I don't get stuck in the wall at all and same thing for is mirrored and this will do it to the left side which we will want to hit the right side of whatever we crash into and then plus a few and then of course we just set that collision check to be invisible at the start so you don't have to Look at it during the game, and you are good to teleport without going through. Hopefully this helps. Have a good one.